Oh, this is Ray from DedicatedServerSetup.com. It has been a tough evening, guys. I was having a nightmare trying to get the server set up for ARK uh, Survival Evolved. Uh, it just wasn't really planned out like Killing Floor 2 or Reign of Kings. Um, it wasn't much documentation to go around. I kind of had to fiddle with everything. And then on top of it all, I couldn't figure out why I could not get the dang ports to allow through the firewall. And it turned out that it was my ISP, or actually it was my data center's ISP, and it just caused extra two hours of frustration, and I thought I was just being retarded. It was just horrible. So, without further ado, how the hell do you set up an ARC server? Well, first let me show you my website. Um, it's almost complete, you know. Uh, pulling it up here, blah, blah, blah. It's been hit hard today. In fact, I got like 5,000 people on at once, and I crashed the server. First time that's happened, or second time that's happened, Killing Ford did that too, but... Here it is. Here's the guide. It actually is complete now. Um, the key notes that we should have are the ports, 27, uh, 27 uh, and 15, ugh, and 777. Both these ports have to be forwarded. And special thanks to Silver Llama on Reddit that pointed out the 7777. You're awesome. Um, Port4.com for your router, for your home stuff. Um, if you're on a data center, everything should be forwarded unless you're uh, is being evil and lock something on their thing oh my god but if that if you get frustrated like me just contact your uh, support there and see what they can work out so I'll probably be taking this off but nah I'll probably leave it still got configuration set up but most of it's done um, prereqs you got your DirectX and Visual Studio the nice thing the developers did is they shipped those with the game so if you look under the game files you'll actually see those and the server um, common redistributables and blah 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 <laughs> all right Whew. Sorry, I'm running out of voice there. So, we're going to be doing the standard Steam CMD deal. Um, I'm going to walk you through, I don't feel like redoing the whole thing, but um, go to Steam, it's all listed on the website, download the whole deal. We will download this zip file, extract it, you'll come up with this folder. Nothing will be in here except for the Steam EXE, double click it. It'll go ahead and open up and download the rest of the stuff that populates in here. Once you're done with that, you're going to go in and log in to the, your, your account. You actually have to own ARC in order to um, download the dedicated server files. Uh, and then <coughs> once you log in, you, uh, oh, so make sure everything's good there. Um, File Explorer, I always create stuff on the C drive because I'm lazy. Um, create a new folder. I call mine ARC Server. Just right click, new, folder, name it arc server or whatever you want to name it. Then in here, force, oh my god, install, directory, and then you're going to path it, so this one is C and then it's arc, god I can't even type right now, arc server, <laughs> alright, and then all you're going to do is app update. And I have to look at my guide because I don't know the number off the top of my heart. There we go. And it's uh, 346110. And you validate it if it's your first time. If it's your second time, like say you need to update it because they're patching this thing like crazy. They've patched it five times since I've done it, which has caused other issues. You'll be patching your server a lot. The devs are working hard to fix minor bugs that are, they're finding. So that's awesome. Good job to the devs on that if you watch this. You just uh, take that off, take off the validate, and you update it. I'm going to update it. You can see if there's anything new. Oh, wow. Really? Okay, no, it's skipping. All right, everything's good. Everything's great. So we're fully installed. All right, so then once we're done, by the way, you download the actual whole game when you do it this way. So it's like 8 gigs, I think, is what you can download totally. Yeah, either way. So then you go to your file, and we go to the Arc server folder that we created. All right, awesome, we got our greatness, woohoo. All right, so and then we go inside Shooter Game, which is, <laughs> I can't believe they didn't rename this. This is like the first thing you rename when you make a project on video games is what I've understand. It's crazy. Anyways, you go in there, um, binaries, Win64, and then we got this awesome little server EXE. Now at first I thought you could just click it or right click and add parameters to it, but no, let's not do that. So what I did, and it seems to work the best, is create a bat file. Now, in order to create a bat file, you just create new, text, document, and 
new text document, name it something bat file. Or actually, no, it's like server start two. I'll just redo this. Now, the thing is, you have to disable the txt. So now you name it a dot bat. It turns it into bot. It warns you changing the blah blah blah. Fine, good, awesomeness. Um, now, if you don't get that thing and it just stays as a text document instead of actually changing to a Windows batch file, then you need to actually enable your exceptions. Go to View. If it's Windows 7 you're working with, you're going to go to File and then View. Um, and then it's the same location, but you just need to make sure file name, is, it, file name Extensions is checked and Hidden Items is checked is what I always have checked. Um, this is Server 2012. This is my first time trying to do a game server on Server 2012, and it's been a frustrating nightmare. So stick with your Server 2008 for right now, I guess. All right, inside here, this is your basic game. Um, you got the start command and then the and the actual exe file, which is, let me see if I can scroll this down, sorry guys. Right there, start server game right there. And then here's all the fun actual here. Here's the map, it's called island, session name, game server setup. Actually, I'm gonna put a dot com on that, because why not? And then the query port, leave it default. I don't feel like playing with it. If you wanna play with it, go play with it. No, just don't complain if it breaks. Your password, which uh, I will change after this, and server admin password, and then listen. No idea what the listen does, it's just there. And then exit that. That's all you have to do. Uh, no, don't say it. Actually, yeah, save, save, yes. Uh, make sure you have those question marks. This whole piece of code right there is on my website. You can just copy and paste it if you want and change what you wish. So there you go. All right, so then after that, all you, you have to make sure your firewall and your and your router has it allowed. So if you're like me and you need to do a couple things. You can't just disable your firewall apparently in Windows 2012 because it's the evil nightmare. Um, so you have to make sure you allow in, I just named shit bad, UDP, allow the program in. So when you actually create an inbound rule, so you create a new rule, you know, you go to program, you, next, you fill it out, you actually navigate to you have to do both programs. This is the other thing. You actually have to allow both the server exe and the game exe through the firewall because they both work. It's really weird. And then, um, oh damn, I just closed that. And then uh, you do that for both inbound and outbound. And then you do the ports as well. So you do set up the ports for 2715 and it's UDP. You don't really need TCP, but if you want to be thorough, do TCP. I did it because I was going crazy. I don't know what the hell's wrong. <laughs> so after that fact, we should be ready to go in some sort of sense. So you just double click your bat file. It, nothing happens there. And then what happens? Da 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 da. Oh my god, we have server. That's our server. It really doesn't give us much information. doesn't really give you log files. But it does work. I had like 45 people on my server. This thing only has 2 gigs of RAM. And it seemed to run OK. And just to prove it to you, we will go ahead and start the server. Play arc. You know, because a lot of people, like, get halfway through and they stop their video and you're like, what the hell? I mean, not cool. So let's go ahead and start the server. All right, so join ARC. And we're not show official. Oh. Oh, yeah, it usually takes a little bit to pop up, too, for some reason. It took, like, three minutes last time. I swear to God, it was working. I'm not lying to you guys. Setup.com. Or maybe I'm lying to you guys. I was just playing my own server for no reason. God damn, where are they at, man? So this is actually a server on a data center that I have way out there. And it's been a nightmare getting that firewall and routing to work. See, something's really weird with their server. Because you see all these things just keep popping in and out? I'm not, I'm not too sure if this is set up correctly on their side as well. Like the program itself is set up. And as I've been finding this, it's just been people going in and out, in and out. But if you want to wait a long, little while, I'm, I'm going to let this go ahead and record. I'm going to come back after I get a drink of water, you know, take a walk. And about, you know, a minute from now, let's say, let's call it a minute. Should be on there. Should be on our server list. It was there. That's where had people, they talked to me. We were almost best friends. You know, I gotta say, the community is actually really nice. This is like, like I put out the guide when it wasn't really complete. Like I was like, I need to be first. 
And I, I didn't really like it because I wasn't too sure. I mean, the game was late on launching. I wasn't really, I didn't really have all the information. And then it took four hours of fighting to actually fix it. Um, but everyone was really nice and really appreciated that I was actually trying to do this. So that was cool. Great community. My password. Oh, that's what it was. I have a password protected, I think. God, I'm stupid. Where are you, game server setup? Game server setup. It's, oh, the period. I didn't even think the period would act. Wait, he has a .NET. It's fine. Stop freaking yourself out, Ray. Did I put a password on it? I don't even remember. I didn't have a password on it, did I? Oh wait, this is the default one. I didn't actually do it. I didn't have my password. Server. Oh, let me get rid of that shit. We don't need that shit. File save. Let me go to close. Make sure everything's closed. And test page. Yes. Restart that server. No server password. We don't believe in passwords here. We want everyone to join. And I'm just going to leave this thing up overnight. So if you see this early enough and you want to go try it out, go try it out. Break my stuff. I don't care. I'll come look at it in the morning. See? What the hell, dude? It'll be there. You know, when you guys check it, check your servers, you'll, you'll see it. Gameserversetup.com. I swear to God it was there. See, he has a dot. I'm tired, guys. It's been a long day. It's been a long day of craziness. I'm going to upload this video. So I'm not a very professional video, but this was just a frustrating game. It's a fun game, though. I really can't wait till it's optimized. I think that's when we're going to see the craziness of art come out. I mean, it's not just me that was having trouble, dude. Like, even my provider, I think, I, like, one of my affiliates is jacked up. Yeah, game servers. Yeah, like, like they even stopped selling it. Look at this. They, they're like, nah, not available, bro. We don't know what the hell's wrong. Look at this shit. <laughs> they have these all running, but they're not running. <laughs> I mean, look, they're not even listed. So they're having issues. Everyone's having issues. I mean, I don't know, dude. I think this will be all cleared up tomorrow. It's going to be pretty pretty much the devs will work here real quick honestly so I hope I passed it like 20 times already you guys are like yelling at me inside your heads right now you're like it's right there I'm like uh I don't know man this was just driving me insane insane in the membrane that's that what the hell dude dash a dash n so that's how I got like a bound argument and it actually said port not found. And here's the weird thing, no matter what I've done, no matter what I've done, I don't know, I just, I might just ask for, I might switch hosts just because this is pissing me off, but, uh, can you see me? No matter what I've done. I've disabled the firewall completely. I've, I've, no matter what I've done, the port says it's not allowed. But it was working, so that's the cool part. So somehow, some way, some reason, it worked. Did I delete something while I was playing with him? Stupid server settings. This is this is just beyond frustrating. But everyone's having problems with servers. I'll probably make a better video and delete this one. I want to get something up tonight so you guys can actually see how it's supposed to work, look, how it's supposed to work. Um, it was working, I swear. People were like, oh my god, playing that. And I was like, I'm going to kill this server to make a video, guys. Sorry. And they're like, why? I hate you. I was like, I don't know, dude. Because stuff. All right. I'm going to call it good. Hope you guys all have a wonderful evening, uh, morning if you're in the UK or Japan or somewhere else. That's cool. But I hope you find this and hope you enjoyed it. And hit me up on Reddit, or website, whatever you want to do. Um, 
Appreciate you all. Thanks. Bye.